Do you know these quiet days at the water? The birds are singing and a light breeze is blowing through the trees. And while you stare at the patches of ripples on the water, you think, how can I do this in Blender? The Advanced Ocean Modifier now got new specials that generate these kind of wind ripples. Let me show you. First initialize and add an ocean. Then we go to specials and click on add wind ripples. We get this new menu and let's see it shaded. The ripples are distributed in patches which slowly move over the water surface. The wind ripples are only generated as bump map in the shader so we can set the resolution to 1, for example, if the water is only a background piece and we don't want foam or float stuff. Here's a rendered version with the resolution 1 and another with resolution 15 and the lovely preset. Let's deactivate the normal bump waves, then we have a better view what the wind ripple settings are actually doing. Let's also disable transparency, displacement and dynamic paint for better performance. The ripple height defines how strongly you see the ripples. Ripple text scale changes the size of the ripples. Increase this for smaller ripple to ripple distance. The ripple roughness controls how much noise will be generated besides the ripples. Ripple deform defines how much the ripples are bent. High values will produce a swirly effect. Direction could also be called rotation and gives access to the direction the ripples and patches move. The ripple speed defines how fast the ripples move in their patches. Coverage sets how much of the water surface is covered with wind patches. The patch size changes the texture size of the texture which mask out the ripples. With this you can control the size of the patches. These patches are morphing continuously. With morph speed you can control how fast they do this. And last but not least, patch speed defines how fast patches move in the set direction. That's it for now. Big shout out to Ian Hubert. A video on his Patreon channel gave me the basic idea for this feature. So if you don't know him, check him out and support his Patreon account. Links are in the description. That's it for now. Find the advanced ocean modifier on Blender Market and enjoy this feature.